friends, I am Dr. Pallavi Kaul and today we are going to learn about the organizational structure of elementary education at the state level. We have earlier uh, talked about the, uh, the role of various organizations and their structure. So today we are going to know about the state level and the various institutions working for education at this level. The two organizations which are working at this level are SCRT and SIEMT. So let us first start with the State Council of Educational Research and Training. Education in India falls in the concurrent list and it is under the control of both the union and the state government with the responsibility assigned to both the governments. In order to integrate and to coordinate academic activities and professional activities at the school level as well as for administrative convenience, the State Council Educational Research and Training was set up in the state as a state level counterpart of the apex body that is the NCERT National Council for Educational Research and Training. It is interested with the responsibility in the area of planning, research, training and evaluation of all the academic programs from preschool to the higher secondary level. The SCRT council are situated in around 36 locations including Sikkim, Tirupura, Kerala, Goa, Jammu and Kashmir etc. Let us now know about the organizational structure of the NCERT. A SCERT has various departments working for specific purposes. For example, it has Department of In-Service Education, Department of Elementary Teacher Education, Department of Universal Elementary Education, Department of Educational Research and policy perspective and innovation, it basically sees the research and policies which are to be implemented at the state level. The Department of Information Technology in Education, this also is an extension of CIET of the NCERT and looks into the information technology in education at the state level. Examination and admission cell is also a very important division of SCERT. Besides these department, there are some other departments such as the academic cell, administration cell, accounts department and publication department. Now let us look into the role of SCERT. The SCERT is the academic wick of the state education department for elementary education, secondary education and even the teacher education. It acts as an agent of change in school education, non-formal education and teacher education. It controls and supervises the working of the secondary training schools, diets, training colleges, colleges of teacher education and institutes of advanced studies in education at the state level. It submits proposal to the state government for appointment of teachers, even transfers of teachers, teacher educators and the head of teacher training institutes and even the appointment and transfers of the principals of the state working in the government schools. The SCRT arranges, monitors and provides funds for in-service training for primary and secondary school teachers. It studies the curriculum at primary level, revises it and produces learning material on different subjects at the primary level keeping the minimum level of learning in view that is the MLL. It controls and supervises the working of secondary training schools, diets, training colleges, Colleges of Teacher Education and Institute of Advanced Studies in Education in the state. SCRT submit proposal to the state government for appointment of teachers, transfer of teachers, teacher educators 
and head of teacher training institutes and even the principals working in the government schools. It orient teachers about the minimum level of learning and it develops strategies to help children in achieving the minimum level of learning in various subjects at the school level. It also develops packages for preschool children. It provides extension services to teacher training institutes and coordinates the work of all extension service centers so that there is no isolation of these extension services centers. It implements the schemes and projects sponsored by Ministry of Human Resource Development, National Council of Educational Research and Training and any other schemes or projects uh, funded by the international agencies such as UNESCO, UNICEF, World Bank etc. It conducts research studies on various aspects of school education. It provides financial assistance to school for research projects also. In fact, the research studies are conducted at various levels at the preschool level, the elementary level and the higher education level also. Now here we have to see that at this school level the various uh, subjects the research study can be conducted on, the way the pedagogies, the way the teachers are teaching, the methodologies, educational technology, value education or even in the area of special education or children with special needs. Now let us look, look closely into the function of SCERT. SCERT performs numerous functions such as curriculum revision and review of textbook. Let us know about this. The curriculum revision and review of textbook for primary and upper primary classes is the most important function of the SCERT. The revision has to be brought about according to the NCF which has been framed by the NCERT. Now, second function is the conducting the workshops. It conducts workshops on research methodologies, creativity, uh, it even uh, propagates educational psychology and focusing on the various other areas of competencies, skills of the teachers and even the requirement from the student side. Now let us know about the pre and in service training. It conducts teacher training program and other training programs for the development of teaching skills, designing learning outcomes etc. Total quality management. This is a very important function of SCERT. It SCRT focus on the total quality management concept. It tries to remove the root cause of the quality problem rather than only treating the symptoms. So it enhances, first of all it tries to identify the lack in the quality at the school level and then tries to rectify that quality so that there is an improvement in the quality. The next function is guidance. It provides guidance to school it provides guidance to teachers on various innovative practices such as the CCE that is the continuous and comprehensive evaluation, the standard learning patterns, pedagogy, portraying effective learning methods etc. Orientation, it organizes orientation programs for empowerment of teachers in various areas such as the proficiency enhancement research aptitude, leadership behavior, communication. So these are the various areas where might be few of the teachers are not up to the mark. So it provides an orientation courses for these teachers. Beside these functions, there are so many functions which SERT also performs such as collecting data of demand and supply of school teachers, conducting surveys and even conducting seminar and conferences in the field of school education so that the teachers become updated and there is a professional development of the school teachers. To sum up we can say that 
SCRT is an apex body to provide academic support and ensure quality of primary and secondary education in, at the state level. Now, let us know about another body which is working at the state level and that is the SIEMAT CMAT, the State Institute of Education Management and Training. CMAT is a state level autonomous institution established in various states as one wing of the SERT as a state component program of Sarf Shiksha Abhiyan. Nowadays, there is a demand to prepare professionals for implementing district education plans effectively and efficiently. This has necessitated professional expertise in planning, implementation and management of educational programs at all levels that is the state, district, sub-district and even at the grassroots levels. CMET is an important organizational arrangement to help professionalizing educational planning, administration and management activities at the state level, district level and the sub-district levels. CMATs are established as a supporting institution in the field of educational management. The prime objective of the institute is to impart training and conduct researches in the areas of educational planning and management. The various departments have been set up within this institute. For example, policy and planning, management, educational finance, research, evaluation and educational innovations and MIS that is a management information system. One of the important example we can take where the MIS system is working fluently is in the state of Haryana where uh, CMAT has taken very good efforts in implementing the MIS system in the state. CMAT is a state level autonomous institution established in various states as one wing of SERT as a state component program of Sarshiksha Abhiyan. Now let us look closely into the role of CMAT. The main role of CMAT is to develop managerial skills in the administrative officers and functionaries involved in the management of school education. But besides this, there are other main roles also of CMAT. Now, the first role is acquisition of knowledge, the generation of knowledge through research, research findings from the other sources, compilation of all the case studies based on the national and the international experiences. So, whatever the case studies are happening at the state level, whether CMAT itself is conducting, SCRT is conducting, conducting or any other international organization like UNESCO is conducted are compiled by the CMAT. The second important function is dissemination of knowledge. So, the dissemination of knowledge is done by CMAT through using of media, publication, sensitization sessions, seminars and human discussions. Third important function and role of CMAT is capacity to absorb knowledge and use it for development purposes. So, first it organizes orientation of functionaries, trainers, community leaders and then secondary rendering professional and technical advice. So, any uh, new policy which has to be implemented at the state level, the first of all the orientation of that to the various functionaries and the people who are going to train further the teachers are given by the CMAT and then slowly it percolates into the whole community at the state level. Now, district and micro level planning is also one of the important role and function of CMAT. Improving the school efficiency by undergoing institutional planning is the part of it. Extension work is another important activity done by CMAT. Last but not the least is providing technical support to the educational institutions. So, it provides technical support in a number of ways. Now, how it is does that let us now discuss the function of CMAT. 
So the first function is to perform the task assigned to the institute and, and engage itself with planning and management of elementary education and seek active collaboration and uh, support of state functionaries, NGOs, research institutions and organizations, other agencies like SRCs, SERTs, DITES, block and cluster resource centers that is the block resource center and cluster resource centers. The main function of CMET are as follows. First of all, it supports the policy planning at the state level. It conduct research studies on various aspects. As we have seen, this is one of the important role and therefore the function is therefore to implement it. The, it also provides professional guidance to the state and sub-state level institutions. Now, it even develops competencies of educational managers, their supporting functionaries and community leaders of state, region and district level. It even develops and manages system of evaluation of educational institutions, educational programs as well as prevalent system of education. So, it evaluates whether the, uh, imp the policies which have to be implemented are being implemented at the various state level and it even ensures that it is done in each school. Now, this uh, another important function is support in the project planning, implementing, monitoring and then its evaluation. For this, it takes up the project and then implement it and then do a research work after evaluating it whether the research or the project was successful or not. Another important function is to provide support, guidance and training to bring positive behavioral changes in the educational functionaries. Documentation and dissemination of the documents at the block, district and state, national and even at the international level is done by CMET. These levels are informed about the various areas of educational planning and management. It establishes a kind of network within and outside the state for educational planning, management, development, monitoring, training and research. It provides a sharing platform for those involved in the educational planning and management. It offers consistency services to the other states the government of India and other educational institutions also. It even supports uh, the NGO projects for furthering the cause of educational planning and management. So, suppose if an NGO is opened for specially, special need children, then accordingly financial support and even technical support is given to them. Even orientation and training is also given to the functionaries of the NGOs for supporting the special need children. So learners, today we have learned about the organizational structure of SCRT and its role and function. Similarly, we have come to know about the CMAT organizational structure and its role and function. Uh, learners, uh, we have learned a lot today and we will be meeting you in my next session. Keep learning and have a nice day. Thank you.